Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brian and welcome back to the beginning C Sharp with Unity screencast series. In this episode, we are going to dive into object oriented programming by introducing you to your first object type, the struct. But before we dive into the specifics of how to use a struct, we first have to answer the question of why we'd want to. Let's take an example of an old fashioned arcade game. At the end of every play session, the player was greeted with a leaderboard typically containing the scores and initials of the best players. Knowing what you know of C Sharp, how would you model that data? Well, you could use two different arrays, one to contain the name and another to contain the score. But what if you wanted to display a particular high score in another area of the game and or possibly update it? It would require a bunch of overhead to remember where that name and high score was located in the originals arrays, and that would just be prone to error. A better solution is to group that data together and then pass it around in your code as a single, well, object. And that's what structs do for you. Creating an object involves two steps. The first step is defining the object, and the second step is instancing the object. Imagine you are making cookies. You first define the shape of the cookie by creating a cookie cutter, and then you create individual cookies by cutting the dough with the cookie cutter. The individual cookies are all unique, but they all share the same properties originally defined by the cookie cutter. Changing one cookie won't change another, but changing the cookie cutter will change any new instances or new cookies. Okay, enough about cookies, I'm starting to get hungry. Let's talk about defining structs. To do this, you want to use the struct keyword followed by the type name. The type name can be anything you want. Just make sure you use upper camel case. After the name, you provide a pair of braces. Your object code will exist within these braces. In this case, you want to provide a few variables for the high score. You'll add them between the braces like so. Here you have two properties, name and score. Notice that they are public. This means anyone can access them and change their values. You'll learn about access modifiers in the next video, so don't sweat about them too much. The variables are also capitalized because they are public variables. This is just a C-sharp naming convention. When you have lots of variables in an object, the capitalization lets you know which are public and which are not. This is a bit different when working with Unity scripts. With those scripts, you lowercase your public variables. That's a particular Unity convention. Some developers will use capitalized variables across the board. Ultimately, it's your team's discretion. A good rule of thumb is when working with Unity generated scripts, use lowercase public variable names. Everywhere else, capitalize them. The variables inside the struct are known as instance variables, meaning they exist in the context of an object's life. Now that we've defined a struct, it's time to create an instance of one, that is create a new struct. First, you define the variable like you've been doing with all your variables, like so. After which you follow it with an assignment operator and then create a new instance. You'll notice a pair of parentheses. These are important and have everything to do with constructors, as you'll learn later in the series. For now, make sure you add them. And congrats, you have a new struct. To access an instance variable, simply use the dot operator like so. To read your instance variables, you do it the same way, but you don't provide the assignment operators. As you can see, objects are a great way to organize your data. Let's see structs in action. Okay, in this demo, we're going to create a struct. And to do that, we're gonna create a new folder in our scripts folder. You can see we have one for control flow and one for getting started. Let's make one for object-oriented programming. So I'm just gonna select new folder and we'll say beginning OOP. Now within this folder, I'm gonna create a new script. I'm just gonna right click, select create, choose c -sharp script, and I'm just gonna call this best books. We're gonna create a struct that will hold the best books according to Goodreads. And this is from a list called the best books ever. So I'm just gonna open this up. So here we have our script called best books. Now outside of the script, I'm gonna create my struct. And I do this by typing 
the word struct, like so. And I'm going to give this a name. So in this case, we'll just call this best book, like so. And then I'll put an open brace and a closing brace. Now I'm going to define the properties within my struct. So the first one is going to be the name. So this is going to be a string. We'll just call this name, like so. And since we're not doing this inside of a Unity script, I'm just going to capitalize that. This is actually within a generated script, but this struct is outside of this mono develop class, which you'll learn about in the next section of this series. So we have the name, then I'm gonna come up with the author. Then we have an average rating. So this is going to be a float and we'll call this average rating. And finally, I'm gonna provide a score, which is an int. So there we go. We've created a struct object. Now we're going to instance them. And we're gonna do this, let's see, let's do this within start. So first I'm going to create an array of best books. And I do this like you do like any other array. I provide the name of the array, best book. And I'm gonna give it a array indicator there. And we'll just call this books like so. Now in here, I'm gonna type books equals new best book. And we're going to set this up to say three. So this array has a size of three. And now let's implement on disable. Now I'm going to add my books to on disable. Now what I'll do in on disable is I'll actually print out the book. So here in start, we'll just continue to add books. So we're going to create our first book, which is The Hunger Games, which is the top of the list. So this is going to be a type of best book, and we'll call this Hunger Games. And we create it by using the new keyword, and I put best book again. So now I've created a book called The Hunger Games, and now I can access its fields. And you can see here we are getting this error because this is 435. Remember, we designated this as a float, and this is actually a double literal. So I just got to put the F after that, like so. And there we go. We've created a struct, and now I can just add this to books. We'll set this to the first element of the array, like so. Now I'm going to create a couple other books. And I'm just gonna make this quick by doing a little copy pasting. So now I've created two other books. You can see we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, and then we have To Kill a Mockingbird. Now within on disable, we're just gonna print those out. And to do that, we're gonna use a for each loop. So we do for each, and we're just gonna set the type. Remember, this is gonna be a best book, and we'll call this book. And this will be within the books array. And what's really nice about a for each loop is it really makes it apparent what we're doing. It's a, a very natural way of saying this. I just want a book from my collection of books. And now we'll just print out the result. And to make it clear where one book ends and another one begins, we'll just put a little spacer here in the logs like so.
Here we are back in Unity. I'm gonna select my cube. And what we're gonna do is, I think we still have our enumeration script attached to that. So we're gonna remove this. And then we're gonna select this best book script. We're gonna drag it onto the cube like so. Now let's run our game. I'm gonna make sure that the console is open. And when we disable the cube, you can see here we have the Hunger Games, Suzanne Collins, the average score, and the rating for all our books. And again, this is a great way to pass data around in your game, which you'll be learning how to do later in this series. That's it for this screencast, but as always, we like to end off with a challenge. In your challenge, I want you to create a new Unity script and call it Favorite Movies. In the script, I want you to have a few public variables. One should be a string for the genre type, one should be an int for the star rating, and the final should be a string array containing movie names. In OnDisable, I want you to take that data and copy it into a struct called My Favorite Movies, and then print that data to the console from the struct itself. I hope you enjoyed this screencast. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, in your challenge, I asked you to create a struct called Favorite Movies, and the idea behind this struct was that you were going to take information from the inspector, store it inside the struct, and then print that out to the console. As you can see, the challenges are getting a little bit harder, but I'm sure you can handle it. Okay, so we're gonna click the Create button here, and I'm gonna choose New C Sharp Script, and I'm just gonna call this Favorite Movies. And now I'm just gonna open this up inside of Visual Studio. Now I'm gonna create my struct. So I'm just gonna type struct like so, and we'll call this, we'll say, my favorite movies. There we go. Now I'm gonna provide some fields. I'm doing this since I'm not doing this inside of a mono behavior like so, I'm just gonna capitalize this. So the first one is string, this is genre type. And we'll do this with a capital G. Next, we're gonna do a star rating. And this one's going to be a, a string array. And we'll just call this movie names. And there we go, we have our very simple struct. Now what we're gonna do is implement this in on disable. But before we do that, we should add our public inspector variables. So we're gonna match the field names here. So we're gonna call this genre type like so. This next one is star rating. And finally, we'll put a string name and we will put call this movie names. Now in on disable, we're going to create a new my favorite movies. And now we're gonna set the genre type and we're gonna get that from genre type over here. Next, we're gonna set the star rating. And finally, we're gonna set the actual names. So now we've created a struct and we, and we've set the values on its on its fields. Now let's print them out. And for the movie names, I'm going to print them out. And remember, the movie names is an actual string array. So we'll just put this, we'll call this movie name in my favorite movies. And we'll call movie names like, whoops, not star rating. We'll call movie names. 
and this will loop through all the movie names and then we'll just print them out to the console. Okay, with that set, we're gonna switch them back to Unity. Here we have our cube, we're gonna select that. We're gonna remove the best book script on it. And we're gonna take our favorite movies and we're just gonna drag it on here. And you can see when we select our cube, you can see now we have our favorite movies. We can say horror, since I'm recording this near Halloween. We'll say an average star rating. And for movies, we're going to say, we'll give three movies. We'll say Saw, Jaws, and we'll call Nightmare on Elm Street. Now we're going to select our cube. We're going to run it, making sure the console is open. We're going to deselect the cube. And you can see here, genre type horror, star rating three. And then we have all the movie names. Thank you.